Jake's POV. I was sitting in a room the Queen prepared for me in her castle, while talking to Suma over our private connection. I am arriving now. Should I summon you? She asked. Suma has spent the last few days travelling with escorts, and the captain she arrived at the capital with, Captain Razuin, back to the base. No, not yet. There are still a few things I want to do here first, and who knows when I'll be here next, I said. How is your training going? She asked. Knowing that I needed to do everything I could to prepare, the Queen set up sparring matches between me and some of the Royal Mages, at my request. It hurts, and I haven't won a single time, but I think I'm getting the feel for how Nume fight. Between my match with Lieutenant Datahu and these guys, I've noticed a few things. Such as? I've noticed you're all a lot better at three-dimensional combat than me. In the air, I can't hit anything. I've been trying to think of ways to knock Nume out of the air or slow their movements down. I see, Suma said, hesitantly. Jake, how have you been these last few days? I'm fine, I said. You have not spent too much time training, have you? I've only had a few days here. I needed every second I could get. Jake, I'm fine, I repeated. Then changed the subject, quickly. How's your journey been? Uneventful, thank the dragons. Flying through the wastelands was as bad as it was last time, however. Did you find what you were looking for in the Queen's archives? Nothing useful. And not a word on those reptile things. So, either no one has ever encountered those echoes before, or no one lived to tell anyone? Suma said. Probably. Are you ready, Sir Sentinel? A voice from behind me asked. I looked behind me and saw Free Nume landing. Uh, yeah, I answered. Suma, I gotta go. It's time for the delve. Alright, please contact me afterwards, she said, still sounding concerned. I will, I said. Please, lay down here. The Nume, who I noticed lack their normal glitter, just like my teammate Nine said, gesturing to a magic circle he was creating. I laid down on my back and took a deep breath. I was about to undergo a spell that would help me control when the memories given to me by Zechariah appear. For my training, I need to be able to access them whenever I need, and not just randomly. The other two Nume joined him, and the magic circle tripled in size. Are you ready? he asked. Yeah. Then we will begin. In unison, they began to cast a spell. It took them about a minute to finish. A long, quiet minute. Once they did, I felt a tingle inside my skull, followed by a few seconds of dizziness. We are finished, the Nume said. I sat up at the dizzy feeling, and the tingle went away. When will I know if it worked? You should be able to find the memories now. Feel free to try it at any time, although I do recommend lying down when you do so. I nodded my head and thanked them. With that, they left my room. I laid down on the vine bed again, closed my eyes, and tried to see one of the memories. I need to find something about fighting, I thought. With that, I started to see memories in time flash from my mind, but they were moving too fast to see clearly. I need something about fighting Nume. I tried again, more specifically this time. Once again, memories filled my mind, but much more slowly this time. I looked through them like I was swiping on my phone, until I found one that kind of felt right. Focusing on it, I was brought into the memory, as if it were just like any other time. I was still locked into Zachariah's point of view, and I still didn't have any control over what happened, but now I could control when they happened. Finally, some good news. It is an impressive weapon, the voice of Ambos said from outside my field of view. My aim needs improvement, Zachariah said, and wrenched an arrow free from the far side of a wooden target. He turned and walked back to Ambos, who was perched on a wooden post. Strangely, the post looked man-made, not like something the Nume would build. Why not simply use magic for your ranged attacks? I'm not as good with magic as you are, yet, Zachariah said, and slung the bow over his back. Your... what did you call them? Runes? Suggest otherwise? Runes cannot be used to kill an enemy. Why not? Ambus asked. 
Because... Because... Hmm... I felt something touch Zachariah's chin and hip. How would that... I already know how to use runes, I thought, and started to end the memory before getting an idea. But how are they made? Once again, I sifted through the memories, searching for one about making runes. It took a moment, but I found one. The environment shifted again like a heat haze over concrete, and I was suddenly sitting at a table full of dyes, clay, scrolls, and stoneworking tools. What are you making? Ambas asked. Four fuck runes. Before we go to battle, I want to make a spell of protection for us. I have never heard of these runes. What are they? The language of my people. We write our desires into the stone, and the lay inside of the earth makes the desire come forth. You mentioned that your people's magic was different. May I watch? I can make you one as well, my friend, if you want it. Yes, please, Ambas answered. Zachariah pulled one of the scrolls and some dyes towards him. I will make yours on parchment, so that it is lighter. We can tie it to your leg before the battle. Zachariah dipped a blue quill into the ink and drew on the scroll. This room means strength, he finished, and moved to another spot on the scroll. And this one is body. He drew a line connecting the runes at both their tops and bottoms. When they are connected, they will give your strength in combat. How do I use the spell? You mentioned something called a lay. Magic does work differently here. The lay seems to be all around us in your world. Perhaps some of your magic will make it work better, Zachariah suggested. Ambos nodded his head and placed a wingtip on the rune. A moment later, the rune was glowing faintly red. Fascinating, Ambos said. I have never seen this before. Should we tie it to you? Ambos agreed, and Zachariah tied it to him with a small string. The glittering white sparkle Ambos once had was replaced by a slightly brighter red one. With that, the memory ended. His language? Are runes just... writing? <laughs>